Hello my Strong Strong friends, today I'm going to teach you guys how to squat. This is a 5 minute Friday, so I'm going to do it in 5 minutes-ish. Okay, how to squat. This is barbell back squatting, is what we're covering. Sometimes people will choose a comfortable, cushy running shoe, and that's actually what you want to avoid in the squat. What you want to do, this is Emmerich's shoe, <laughs> you want to get a non-compressible, a flat, solid, soul chucks are a good affordable version or you can go more expensive and get something like um crossfit kind of shoe those would be good more versatile um, but good for squatting or these are my dad's you can get something like a nike romaleo this is a heeled weightlifting shoe we'll talk a little bit about elevating the heels and why that's important but this will help you squat after shoes there are some other pieces of equipment that you can use a belt wrist wraps and knee sleeves none of these are necessary but they might help you feel more comfortable to go back to shoes if you don't have the right shoes um just go barefoot that is going to be fine okay is that a minute long okay there's two different ways you can barbell back squat you can put the bar high on your traps and high bar or the bar can be a little lower like two inches down and that's called low bar the biggest thing with squatting is you always want to keep the barbell over your midfoot throughout your entire range of motion so if the bar is in a different position, then that's going to affect how your body accommodates to keep the barbell over your midfoot. I'll put some diagrams so that makes a little bit more sense. But basically, the difference in bar position is going to affect your hip angle, your torso angle, how far forward your knees travel, your shin angle, and all that. So some people like high bar, some people like low bar a little bit better. Usually people can squat more with low bar. So. Keep that in mind. I would say whichever one you choose, stick with it for a few months before you try the other one, just so that you drill in a consistent movement pattern. Usually, I like to set my barbell height around where my mid delt is. So that ensures that the bar's not too high to where I'm tiptoeing out of the rack, and it's not too low to where I'm doing like a quarter squat out of the rack. If you know you have big spaces in between your J hooks, just go lower than higher. It's gonna be safer and a more stable unrack. When you unrack the bar, you wanna make sure that you're doing it with a lot of confidence, not all like loose, you know, be about it, right? <laughs> so you wanna unrack with some confidence and then you're going to do a three step unrack this is so that you're minimizing the amount of steps that you need to take so that you're not wasting your energy and so that you're not increasing the possibility of you falling over which rarely happens but i'm just saying keep it simple right so i'm going to step one foot back the other foot back and then i'm going to square up with a third and final step and when it comes to grip width you'll see lifters grip way 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 out here and then you'll see lifters grip way way narrow it's really just personal preference the biggest thing is you want to make sure that your back is stable and tight so you want to kind of think about cranking down um, you can see i'm tight here and i'm tight here it has nothing to do with how close my hands are to my body but it might help you to come a little tighter i usually just extend my thumbs out and grab right there okay foot angle this is going to be another personal preference thing the wider your stance the wider or the more foot angle you might want to have the more narrow you might feel more comfortable with uh, less of an outward foot angle <laughs> so i would say just start with a moderate width stance right outside of your hips and then slightly turn your toes out. You can experiment with this as you get more efficient in the squat and try to see what's better for you. You might find that you can get a little bit deeper with a more angle, more external rotation. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. Next, we wanna focus on the descent. So you want the descent to be as fast and controlled as you can. That doesn't mean go as fast as you can, it means go as fast as you can while maintaining control. So you don't wanna go super, super slow descent. It'll make the squat a lot harder for you. Um, but you also don't wanna dive out, dive bomb, and lose control and lose your tightness. Go as fast as you can, as fast as you comfortably can. And then when you're thinking about coming out of the hole, you wanna drive your traps up into the bar. Think about pushing your feet through the floor and accelerating through the entire lift. Honestly, this video is probably mostly about setup but once you kind of get under the bar and you're set up properly, then, you know, it's kind of a natural movement pattern. It might take you some mobility work to get used to some of the positions. Good luck. Hopefully this was under five minutes and I'll see you in the next video.
Real quick, if you like the video, please do give it a like or a comment down below your favorite part. I'm opening Stronger by the Day, which is my app. Um, if you've been following me for a while, then you know that Stronger by the Day is my strength training program. We have thousands and thousands of members who love it and join and they commit and they love it. But now we delivered the program through an app. It used to be just web-based, but now we have an app. And it's amazing because it tracks all your lifts. It makes sure that you're always moving forward and increasing the weight that you have on the bar. And it tracks everything for you. No no more calculator, no more um, doing all kinds of math on your phone and um, you know, a training journal that just doesn't make sense. We got you, okay? So check out Stronger by the Day. I'm gonna link it down below and um, join us. You are going to love the app. It's